Well, thank you for coming out this afternoon. And here are happy hour jam on the Lagoon. I think this is the first time we've done this in a little while, huh? And uh, live music again.
close and personal. Yeah, that last tune was, um, hey guys, um, the last tune was written by Dennis, our bass player. Beautiful tune. Nichols, Nichols and Diamond. Um, and this next tune is by Jeff. Yeah, this next tune. Um, and I, I met Marjan, who um, has been listening to uh, a CD of mine, my last CD, and uh, it's called Sirocco, which is, um, we re-recorded it with five, with this group recently, it's on our CD too. It's called Sirocco, which is the word for the hot desert winds, the mass winds that come across North Africa, and uh, seasonally in, in the southern Mediterranean. So here it is, uh, Sirocco. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I wanted to say something about my instrument because people were uh, asking a lot about it, and uh, this is this is it. Okay, thank you. No. <laughs> this this instrument has you know a book of stories about how it came into being, but it's uh, it's this um, <clears throat> it's this chromatic instrument built out of the top of an oil drum, invented on an island of Trinidad in the Caribbean, right after World War II. And um, there are so many rumors about how it happened, but it was a, a quick evolution of young kids finding that they could get more than one sound on the top of beating on cans. We've all seen like drummers on the street playing cans. Well, this is, you know, this is the evolution from that in Trinidad. And there's a whole orchestra of these instruments. This is a soprano, there's two altos, three, three tenors, six bass that makes like what they call a steel band. If you ever are in Trinidad, you're going to see it because everybody, everybody knows about this and plays it. And, um, you know, it has this really rootsy beginning, but it's now is a very sophisticated instrument. Being that I can play with, with these sophisticated young men right here. Um, thank you. Um, and I did just play a few notes by itself because someone asked me, well, what does it sound like by, by itself? So... You know, um, I go, I, I started playing when I was like 12 in New, in New York where I grew up and um, I always tell people I'm from Long Island, sounds good. So, uh, um, and the inventor of this instrument, the person that's done the most work to create it, um, is a, like, was a family friend. My, my dad brought him to America to bring steel pans to... You know, spread out 
and um, Ellie Manette. He passed away a couple years ago at the age of 90, but um, I'm always playing his instruments and singing his praises because he's, uh, he's in the Smithsonian and received the Congressional Medal of Honor from the Clintons when they were um, in, in the White House. And uh, so that's just a little tip of the iceberg, but thank you for letting me share a little.